What is up guys, and today we're going to be talking about if you guys should be pulling for the new Moonlight 5 star unit, who is a limited Moonlight 5 star unit, and that is going to be Navy Captain Landy. Now, Navy Captain Landy, extremely powerful, you guys probably already know what she does, but let's talk about her skills very quickly. So first we have her S3, you're going to notice it costs 100 Fighting Spirit. This is pretty much your win condition, if you get this off, you're going to win more times than you lose. It will give her attack buff. It's an AoE attack, it stuns for one turn, which is very, very powerful, and also penetrates defense by 60%, and this hits extremely hard. You're going to see this hitting for like 15k to 20k most of the time. Her S2, also an extremely powerful passive, it makes her immune to stuns and sleeps, gives her 70% critical hit resistance, and also at the start of battle gives all allies increased critical hit resistance for two turns, and also gives her stacking attack every time she attacks, very, very strong. Her S1, single target attack, gives her CR, also has a chance to activate Salvo Fire, which is a secondary attack that will AoE and also heal her, and the amount you heal will scale with her attack as well, and you can soul run this to activate this at 100% chance, so yeah, pretty much all of her skills are insane, her S3 is pretty much a free win if you get this off, um, and the way you get that Fighting Spirit is by using your S1, right, or by countering, or by using Elbrus Ritual um, Sword to get those counters off, and your S1 on counters can still proc your Salvo Fire, which makes her extremely, extremely powerful. And this critical hit resistance buff is super, super strong. Pretty much, she can stop Cleave just by herself. This buff is insane. It can get dispelled, um, but keep in mind that Navy Captain Landy has that innate critical hit resistance, which means that it can't really be stopped. So yeah, she's an extremely powerful unit, guys. She's been out for... Uh, a little bit longer than a week now, she's about halfway through her banner. I think it's a good time to make this video because I know a lot of you guys already tried to pull for her, but if you guys are, you know, upset you haven't pulled for her, or you guys are wondering how she actually is, let me tell you that she's not as OP as people think. I think she is a strong unit, don't get me wrong, for PvP, but nowhere near as strong as the current meta, ML5 stars, and other units. Um, because I think she does have some glaring weaknesses. So yeah, this is my Navy Captain Land, you guys. You're going to notice that she is on counter and Elbrus. She is very hard to build. She needs a lot of attack, defense, health, so she stays alive. She needs critical hit chance and critical hit damage, and speed is really up to you. Some people like to run effect resist. I like to run speed because I feel like having that speed to actually manually use your S1 is a lot more reliable sometimes because I don't really want to play full casino lottery, so... I do have some speed on her while maintaining bulk and sacrificing some attack. But yeah, this unit has a lot of RNG, right? You need to pray that you actually get your counters off so you can actually stack your Fighting Spirit and get your S3. You also have to make sure that you get your Salvo Fires off, which can be hard sometimes. If you don't get your Salvo Fires off, you're not going to be healing, and that's the only sustain you have. And even though you have that critical hit resistance, if you don't resist crits, you're going to die pretty quickly. So you have so much RNG built in. Right, you have the critical hit chance, um, resistance being RNG, you have the counter being RNG, you have Elmer Switchel Sword being RNG, and you also have your S1 proccing Salvo Fire, which can proc off counters by the way, having more RNG built in. So yeah, having this much RNG, you literally have four layers, it makes it so that she can either be very powerful or just very useless. And compared to the other meta units that we have, I just, you know, favorited some, for example, here, like Lu and Conchilius, very consistent openers. Worst case scenario that can happen is that you actually get 15%ed and you don't land your debuffs. Doesn't matter because you have secondary effects, right? Lua has that uh, Beguile and also Speed, and also you're not going to, you know, get 15% on every unit. So you're going to reset some cooldowns no matter what. You have Vigor buff for Conchilius. Uh, if you go into other units, right, you have Lassari Crow, who has consistent immunity, uh, great AoE damage, a lot of mitigation and barriers. Uh, you have Angel of Light, even though if her S3 gets resisted, you have this insane Guardian of Light passive. You have Apoc Ravi, don't really need to talk too much about her. I feel like she just stays on the field and is super strong. And another one, Meteor Cowric, right? He's just going to be on the field, cleanse your team, uh, CR push your team over and over, do decent damage as well, especially with his S2 and also be able to strip buffs and give you a barrier and decrease attack of key target enemies. While Navy Captain Landy, sure, she has this critical hit resistance buff, but that is RNG even on your team as well. So it's not even just RNG for herself, but your team can also just get crit as well through this. So yeah, for that reason, I don't think she's super, super strong. I think she's just decent. Uh, she does seem a lot stronger in World Arena and RTA, 
but in Guild Wars and Arena, there's a lot of counters to it, right? You have like Rowana, you have Lionheart Sermia, uh, you have like Lone Crescent Bologna, you can also use Last Rider Crow as well because you can proc his S2 and also uh, get this S3 cooldown off very quickly. So there is a lot of counterplay, right? And there is RNG, so uh, I don't think she's as OP as like Rem was on release. When Rem was on release, uh, it was a lot more different in the meta because there weren't so many answers to AoE counterattacks, but now we have so many answers that it doesn't seem like she's that powerful. Now, keep in mind though, even though you go against your counter like picks, if you go against like Rowana for example, and even though you're healing the enemy team, so you're pushing them over and over, if you actually get to 100 Fighting Spirit, this S3 can still win you the game, which is what I like about Navy Captain Landy. She can actually fight back against her counter picks if she gets to her S3, um, but if she doesn't, she still gets countered pretty hard. So yeah, I think this unit is definitely worth pulling because she looks amazing and she's very fun and satisfying to use, but just keep in mind that there are a lot better ML5 stars out there. I think she is in the strong end, but I don't think she's like super broken. Uh, I think she is very good for World Arena, but for Guild Wars and, and regular Arena, there's going to be a lot better picks out there. Also, I've tested her out extensively and I've tried to make her work on a ton of builds and I do think she's very strong, um, but you have to be prepared to actually deal with her counter picks. And you also need to pick her in World Arena, it seems like maybe two or three or three or four in the pick phase because yeah, if you pick her too early without banning two, like one or two of her counters, she does seem a little bit hard to play. But yeah, just my opinion guys. Let me know what you guys think about ML Landy in the comments down below. Uh, I personally think that she's like an 8 out of 10 in terms of strength for PvP. Uh, PvE guys, if you guys are wondering, she's not that usable, but definitely a fun unit, and I'm very, very glad they have this ML out for this limited unit. Hopefully they release like ML Luna and stuff like that in the near future because I think that'll be a lot more fun, and hopefully um, they release a way to actually make these imprints easier to get because, yeah, they did run Landy's banner alongside ML Landy for you guys to get the uh, imprints more easily, but yeah, locking imprints behind behind a limited unit is going to be very painful for the future so hopefully they change that or they add a way to get more imprints but yeah let me know what you guys think down below about this unit and as always thank you for watching and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to see more content like this i'll show you the path to victory whether you win or lose is determined in an instant Stay focused. It's way too hot, humid, and noisy here. I never did like the sea. Excuse me. Cut and slice. This ill-fated relationship between us ends here. Mission accomplished. You all deserve medals for your bravery.